only the beginning. It's only a matter of... <coughs> What's that? Uh, this is only the beginning. It's only a matter of... And then he starts coughing. Oh, okay. So we're just gonna have him heads down. There's another one. All right, some more danger. Now, danger zone. The easiest way to lose your hostage is to just walk him in a straight line towards uh, safety. All right. Because that makes sense. You want to keep him like in protected. As it happens that. Um... Oh, shit. Someone... Something happened? Looks like uh, he grazed him, yeah. Oh! Oh, that's did more than graze! Yeah. Hayachi! We can't let Hayachi die, he's... Yeah, it'd he's probably be best energy. to get back inside. I'm on it, Commander. Hayachi is... Hayachi is the linchpin of our entire strategy, Nick. <laughs> Without the Zaibatsu support, I don't know what we'll do. The uh, good thing, though, is that now that they've he's used up that move, someone else I can, can move run into up here. Yeah. All right. And hopefully take him out. Or she could not see him. That happens too, I guess. Now I could guess where approximately he is. I know he's around here. I could just throw a grenade. Is that right. a new update to the interface? It's like showing like red the stuff it'll damage? Yeah, I think it might be. Okay. That's handy. So what do you think? Looks looks good, looks good. Be nice to get that guy out of action quickly. Oh yeah. Pretty lucky. That's the end of him. Oof. All right. But we're not out of the woods yet. We are not. Okay. So knowing that there's... Okay. That's nothing cheery. but a bunch of puppets. We're nothing but a bunch of puppets. So I know there's a sectoid right about here, and there's a thin man right about here. And if I run the survivor in a straight line this way, he's going to get shot and die. What happens if he's killed, by the way? Uh, then you lose a lot. Um, I'm pretty sure if you fail this mission, then you get cut off from a bunch of other missions. Really? Okay, so... No ba- so, no, so there's no, uh, no backsies. Yeah. It's not mission critical, but, um... Like, like, it doesn't just, like, you can't just, like, wait a few months and then do this again. Uh, yeah, I don't think this happens again. It's, um, it's one of the big things with the new expansion. Alright, there's nowhere that I'm guaranteed that I know he will be safe, so I'm just gonna have the civilian wait. Alright. Oh, there's, there's that sectoid. Thankfully, Heihachi was able to avoid being hit. And can return fire with gusto. Yes! Very nice. Alright. I'm gonna have Ken take point here. He has the highest chance of surviving, and I think he's the most durable out of the troops we have. Do do do, do guys get like they get more hit points at, when they promote, right? Uh, some can. Most of the most of the uh, hit points increase comes with the uh, armor. Armor, yeah. Does it depend on character class or something? Yeah. Okay. That too. 
like the uh, assault troopers, and I think this is new with this game, can receive a health bonus depending on the class of armor they're wearing. Yeah, okay. I think that might have been an ability... I think that was an ability in the uh, in Enemy Unknown as well. Oh, okay. It was like what it was one of the you know one of the selectable abilities. Yeah. Okay. Heihachi again has the Thin Man in his sights, and let's see if we can go three for three. And yes. we can. People wondering why, marveling at our psychic prediction abilities, it's it only goes into that dramatic kill cam shot when you, when you're gonna kill something. Well, it'd be pretty it. anticlimactic to oh, uh, yeah. go and go into the kill cam and it not happen. There are games, maybe this is one of them. I don't know, like the games where you can actually turn off the you know kill cam only when on kills. So you can have the you know dr dramatic you know camera th you know zooms in, raising the rifle in slow motion, then boom, miss. That yeah. would be incredibly annoying, though. I think that'd be incredible until it just became a waste of time. Oh, yeah, I mean, it'd get, very, it'd get tiresome pretty quick, I think. This guy kind of sounds like a like solid snake. <laughs> what do you say? What are you trying to prove? And he's coughing a lot, like an old <laughs> snake. Those, those, those lucky strikes. More contacts. Yep. And you see this glass roof. That glass roof lets him make some attacks of opportunity. And if I'm really, not, if I'm not careful, um, I can get the. Mm. VIP nice, the, the... killed that way. Oh, okay. I'm coming. Oh! Who got hit? Oh, Ken. And he's only been grazed enough by his armor. So okay, he'll be okay. Too. Okay. But luckily I moved him first. And let's see if he can get some revenge. Yeah, here we go. Oh, man. These thin men are dropping like flies here. Mishima on Overwatch. Basically, gonna have everyone sit on Overwatch. Let them see what they do. Well, and then have the survivor sprint to the evac. Uh, Success! He's still not getting anything from me. Yes. This guy's not very grateful. He's not. But I have a feeling a talk with Dr. Valen will change his tune. <laughs> Oh god, they're gonna... They're just gonna leave him in the clutches of the amoral German scientist. <laughs> Not a good place to be. <laughs> the electrodes are being affixed to that guy's nipples as we speak. <laughs> ah, here we go. Sergeant! Say oh. hello to Sergeant. Ken Masters. And your choices are field medic, mm -hmm. or smoke and mirror, which additional uses of uh, the smoke grenade, or there's the medic one, which is uh, allows medicate to be used three times instead of once. And that one's pretty essential if you want to make a character like a you know a medic type guy. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go with that one just because I find it I'd... more useful. I never got much use out of the smoke grenades myself. My has been upgraded to a heavy. All right. And Yuri has been upgraded to a sniper. Again! Lots of female troopers and lots of snipers this round. And now we have enough scientists to build our own laboratory. Increases research speed by 20%, and they get adjacency bonuses just like the workshops. Which means if we cared enough, we could stack these until we got 100%. I think three of them is all you'd need, really. 
Ah, alien materials. Okay, so the alien materials research is completed. Codename Looking Glass. Our understanding of the alien materials is limited at best, and we could spend years deciphering the complex manufacturing process required to produce and manipulate these substances. However, we have managed to crudely adapt some of the observed techniques into our own research. Our first development was a multi-walled carbon nanotube weave. It was modeled after an unusual pattern mirrored in several of the alien materials. This new configuration has pr proven to possess a greater tensile strength than any material previously recorded in known science. Adapting this fiber into an armor-reinforcing vest will surely afford our soldiers increased protection on the battlefield. You know what? So, you know what the best thing ab about being the, just the commentator, not the player, in the, one of these is what? I don't have to read all that shit. <laughs> it <clears throat> individually, it's just a few paragraphs each. But it's a te in a text-heavy game, you do that a lot. By the end of the night, you get it. It's pretty. It gets pretty rough. Yeah. So this is the nanofiber vest. It gives us a couple. Uh, I think I want to say two bonus health points. Two or three, yeah. And that that goes in your item slot. Yeah. Thin man autopsies available. Oh, oh, I, I, that should be instantaneous if we select it, right? It is. These aliens were clearly intended to be used as infiltrators, moving among us and observing without ris raising an alarm. Their incredible range of motion is of particular interest to our own genetic research program. The tall one has, up until this point, been unofficially referred to as the thin man. Initial testing has revealed a concerted effort by the aliens to modify this specimen's genetic structure in such a way as to make it appear human. However, on closer inspection, we seem to have had some trouble concealing the eyes, which reptilian in nature. Reptilian in nature. Like I said, sort of a nod to the snake men. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> the subject's <laughs> external appearance is that of a Caucasian male. I would guess the age to be approximately 35 years old, although it's quite likely this is an artificial effect intentionally affixed by the aliens. The specimen is roughly 2 meters in height and weighs just over 80 kilograms. Despite its outward appearance upon dissection, the character's unique organ and bone structure is revealed to be distinctly alien in nature. The subject's bones are segmented rather than the vertebrae, rather like the vertebrae of a serpent. Told you. This... Was that? I'm sorry. <laughs> I told you, snake man. I'm sorry, go ahead. This segmented structure appears to give the creature a spectacular range of motion in combat. It is possible, through our own genetic modification program, that we may be able to replicate the unique connective tissues that allow for this remarkable flexibility. If successful, our soldiers could see drastic improvements in their own physical mobility and resilience. A large portion of the specimen's thoracic cavity thoracic. is de devoted to enormous glands capable of producing a toxin that is then expelled via ducts with considerable force. After a thorough chemical analysis of the subject's venom, we've theorized that it could be used as a powerful disinfectant to treat our soldiers' injuries in the field. Dr. Shen is working to develop a means to integrate this substance to our existing med kits for future deployment. Targeting another example of this specimen in the field using the unit analysis view may reveal further details about its distinctive combat abilities. I assume that thing about the medicine, I assume that's like some sort of workshop project we can use to upgrade? Yes, a foundry project. Alright. Foundry, I'm sorry. So, gas grenade uh, available for manufacturing. We can now make gas grenades and the muscle fiber density is available in the genetics lab. Interesting. Gas grenade. So this is just a poison grenade. It's uh, it's is new, that new to this game. Yeah, I don't. I don't yeah, know I don't, that, that, I don't think I recognize it, that. I've never found a particularly good use for it. As I recall, late late in XCOM Apocalypse, you got this like poison gas weapon that was like crazy effective. I you know I think if you could cluster a bunch of sectoids, it would be good at getting rid of them slowly. <laughs> oh yeah, that's. But that's what you I always want to do is get rid of the enemy slowly. Because they only lose one health per turn. Okay, that's pretty. That's pretty weak. So the muscle fiber density mod uh, confers superhuman leg strength, allowing soldiers to leap uh, buildings without the need of ladders or other climbing materials. Superhuman leg strength. Give it to Chun Li. Yeah. Those powerful thighs. Okay. All right. So let's go with experimental warfare. These other ones are too slow. All right. 